Criminals are forced to launder money if they want to use it for normal activities. Politicians must launder money they receive from illegal sources in the same way. Never in the history of mankind have governments controlled so much money. Budgets in Western countries regularly suck up 50% of GDP or more. Everyone knows that a lot of these resources are completely wasted and misspent. What we can be sure of is that those who are politically connected gain most from this spending. But how are politicians rewarded for the favors they hand out? Let's look at some of the ways politicians receive their ill-gotten gains without fear of being caught with their hands in the till. To launder money means that money that comes from an illicit source is disguised to make it look legitimate. It could be a drug dealer receiving cash and then investing that cash in legitimate businesses such as bars or shops. He's then able to bank cash as if it's been received from the legitimate business. A corrupt politician may not receive cash, but they still must find ways to launder money to disguise its source. Speaking engagements and book deals after they leave office is one method often used. Boris Johnson resigned last year as British Prime Minister. He immediately launched himself onto the speaking circuit. He reportedly receives $250,000 for each 30-minute speech he gives at corporate events. It's difficult to see the commercial justification for this or what value it brings. It's often speculated that these speaking fees are rewards for favors done while in office. Book deals after leaving office come into the same category. Often minor politicians receive multi-million dollar advances on book deals. There is no commercial justification for these. Many politicians have set up family trusts. They are so-called blind trusts. They're supposed to be managed by others with no participation from the politically connected person. It's not unheard of for a high-ranking politician to receive founders' shares in up-and-coming companies in their blind trusts. This is a common method used to launder money obtained in return for dishing out favors. The politician who can't receive money directly can arrange for a distant relative to receive the money in an offshore trust or foundation. When the distant relative dies, the money is inherited by the family of the politician. It's almost impossible to question this due to the time past and the fact that it's a distant enough relative. The corrupt politician has plausible deniability as the money never belongs to him. It's unlikely ever to be investigated or come to the attention of anyone. In Europe, police recently raided the homes of corrupt politicians who were accused of taking bribes to say positive things about Qatar in the lead-up to the World Cup. Police found boxes filled with euros as well as gold and diamonds in the homes of politicians. It shows that they're still taking bribes in good old-fashioned cash. These politicians were so blatant they made no attempt to launder money received from corrupt activities or even to hide it. Hillary Clinton famously made money trading cattle futures. Nancy Pelosi's husband is a better stock picker than Warren Buffett. Making sure a politician or his friends make money in a trading account is a method of getting money to them that can't be questioned. A friendly broker opens two accounts in the name of the politician or their close connection. They do opposite trades in each account. The politician keeps the winning account. The losing account is written off. Often, options are traded in those accounts because of the leverage they offer. Everyone has heard of the Clinton Foundation. Starting a charity is perhaps the best way for a politician to collect on the favors he granted while in office. After all, who's going to question a charitable donation? Nobody can own a charity. The funds are held on behalf of good causes, but the person who has control of the charity controls all the money in it. It can be spent on expenses. It can be invested in private companies. The money can then be taken out of the private companies and go directly to family members of the politician. The charity can also buy assets like houses, cars, and artwork. A charity can be set up to do all this while giving almost nothing to good causes. Charitable foundations can be useful tools, and not just for corrupt politicians. Every wealthy family should have one. Please subscribe to our channel and follow the link in the description to get a free copy of Your Wealth Fortress. With this report you'll learn unique and valuable strategies for keeping your assets completely hidden, untouchable and untrackable by anyone. No matter how much money you have, you'll learn carefully crafted strategies so that nobody can find it or even know what you have. Your assets will remain untouchable even with a team of the best global lawyers. Well-funded governments will not be able to lay a finger on your wealth. It's all detailed in Your Wealth Fortress. Bulletproof structures to protect your assets. Follow the link in the description to get instant access.